Hey guys, so I'm back to share more of my die collection. So we're going to start in on the thin dies now. And this book is just a book of like really oversized dies. There's only a few in here um, because this is uh, one of the ways I was storing some of these. They don't fit in my conventional uh, storage method. So I was putting them uh, this is just a chipboard book that I got at Michael's and it had all the put holes punched in it and I added some sticky um, 8.5 by 11 magnet sheets to it um, because I didn't want to keep the package initially for all of these dies that was that were too long. So I don't know if I still have the packaging around somewhere but these are the dies that are in this book and there are not, like I said, there's not that many of them because I switched midway. This is a bow die from... I don't know where it's from. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the company. It's one of those like um, you know companies where you can become a um, a salesperson, sales rep, whatever, um, and sell their stuff. So I can't even remember the name of that. But it's a pretty big die. If you you can see that it's a big bow die. This is a vine, and I believe these all of these except for that one I just mentioned are lifestyle craft dies. I think that's even it. There's no more dies in this book because I moved the rest of them out. So that is just a few of those strip dies that I have in there. Um, and you can see over here, I didn't put these away yet. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit that. So let's start in with the binders because I think that's where people are like, let me see your die collection. <clears throat> So these, this is the first of, oh my gosh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 binders and they're not all full, as I said before um, in one of my videos. This one is supposed to be windows, flourishes, odd shape, nesting, and hearts. Um, so I don't even know if I can show you. Maybe this is the better way to show it to you. And I'm sorry about the camera shaking, but um, this camera is mounted to the same table that I'm actually resting the book on. So um, maybe I'll do it like this. So you can see. Okay, so that was the windows. Um, these are kind of related. Their house dies, but then there's flourishes here. Uh, as I turn the page, I will attempt to show you both sides. And you can see I've mixed them together. Um, in terms of who they're, who they're by, well, you guys don't know that, but they're mixed together. Um, I have all of the, um, manufacturer sheets kind of behind the die sheet itself. Um, they're all on magnetic, um, five by seven sheets and there are now, they're organized by theme. Now, if it came in a collection of dies, I tried not to split them up because I knew I would get confused about not that it's important about who made it but sometimes if I like something and I want to order from them again because of the style of dye I may want to know who it was from so I tried not to split up the sets if I could help it see like this big butterfly I don't know who it's from but if I wanted to it's behind the sheet and it's Simon Says Stamp so I tried to keep those if I could in here sometimes the packaging is too big and you can't always do that. So you can see I'm starting the nesting ones. These are more nesting ones. Hearts. So now we start the hearts. So now you can see my process. I labeled each of the books with a tag. And that's all that are in this book. And hopefully I can get through several each video. I don't know how many videos these are going to be because, you know, I have a lot of dies. This says Anna Griffin. So, um, I don't, you know, my, my process for <clears throat> why I labeled them the way I did, is that's just my organization and thinking. So these are all of my Anna Griffin dies unless they don't fit in here. Because I have some that don't fit in here. So some, sometimes I can tell you who makes it and sometimes I can't. You can see here, and this book isn't full. Got an extra sheet there. 
See, I even have embossing folders in here too because um, this right here, which is a die, it matches up with that embossing folder. So I wanted to keep it together so I wouldn't have to go searching to figure out which one goes with which. I've seen people write on their dies too. That's another option. Um, just write on it with a Sharpie. I love Anna Griffin. You guys can't, she can't wait till she's on, um, HSN, can you? That's this week. <laughs> I always put together my wish list. So that's, um, uh, my Anna Griffin dies that are in this book. The next step we are doing circles. So all of my smaller sets of circles are in this book. I say smaller sets because I have some grand nestabilities dies. They don't fit in this book, of course, so I have them in another place and I will show you them. So see, sometimes you can see the actual packaging so you can see who makes it. And I'm trying my best to show you. I'm sorry about all the shaking. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Except to be a little bit more gentle with the book. As I turn the pages. And I realize that some of my videos um, that I posted already, I've been going really fast. And, you know, it's because... I don't know how long it actually takes for you to see this. So this book actually has circles and ovals because I don't have that many ovals. But I do have some. As you can see. So those are the circles and ovals. Um, the next one is going to be squares, I believe. And the squares are just that, squares. The rectangles had to go in a separate book. Oh, this is rectangle. Sorry. It is labeled, but as you can see, these are rectangles. And I have quite a few rectangles. Be that's because, you know, most cards are rectangular shaped. They don't have to be, but they mostly are. So. Ooh, I almost knocked something over. Don't want to do that. This is one of my favorite die sets. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Oh, actually, it's this one. You're probably like, what's the difference between these two? Well, the size of this rectangle is, is actually something that I really like. Um, this one is slightly um, more desirable than the size of the largest one for me to make card bases. Even though they're very similar, the scallop on this one is smaller. And it's by Waltzing Mount Stamps. You probably seen me use it a number of times now. It's one of my favorite rectangle dies. That's another thing. Somebody might ask, what's your favorite die? I don't know that I have a favorite die because I probably haven't used them all enough. <laughs> um, next is, should be the squares. And the other thing, too, is I'm able to pull these out quickly because they have this loop at the bottom, which is facing outward. And I tied the, the tag um, to the zipper so that um, I can open it quicker or easier. Use it as a way to unzip. So these are squares. Of different manufacturers. Not too many, huh? So that's it for the squares. I don't have that many squares. 
I don't make that many. Well, I do the three by three square cards, so I guess I can't say. I don't usually use the die to make them, I guess. Maybe I'll have to do that. All right. This next one is tags, labels, and mini note card stuff. Mini note card, meaning there's probably pockets and envelopes. Um, those kinds of dies in here. Let's see. I'm at 10 minutes, so just want to make sure I stop within 15 minutes. So I don't have to do any editing. So, can you see that? I think I just went off the end. Oh, look, there's a stamp set. That's because that stamp set is a coordinating dot, has a coordinating die set. Um, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. These are little pocket um, note things um, with envelopes. And then some of these other things are like interactive stuff. Okay. And you know, my mind, whatever, is how I organized it. You guys should organize it the way that you think about your collection. Um, so you can get the most use out of things. And I don't really know whether or not this is the best way for me to remember everything. But I labeled it. So now I should be able to find stuff, hopefully, easier. So these are all tags as well. Um, at 12 minutes, I think I can do one more. Okay, this is borders and backer, backer dies. You know the ones that cut the whole card size? Like if it's a 5 by 7 So, um, borders first. There's a lot of stitching ones, so... You'll see that. Borders. Borders. Okay, backers now. These cut like the whole pattern in the back for a card. Um, and I got a lot of different ones. Again, I haven't used them all, but you know, that's the beauty of crafting. You can actually use them whenever you feel like it. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I'll do the next video. Be back soon.